Hello everyone, Sharif Abu Zaid here with a new video. And today I want to show you how you can add a third party code snippet inside your WordPress website if you are using the Cadence Theme Pro add-on without the need to install and activate an additional plugin. But first let me explain to you what I mean by a third party code snippet. Sometimes or in some cases you need to connect your website to additional services or outside services such as Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, or Facebook advertising. And to be able to build this connection, you will be asked to add a code snippet, which is a lines of codes inside your WordPress websites. Usually I would install an additional plugin such as WB code to be able to add these code snippets to my WordPress websites. But with Cadence Theme Pro add-on, actually we don't need to install these additional plugins because there is a feature inside Cadence Theme Pro add-on itself that will help us build this connection. And this is what I'm going to show you in this video. So the scenario we have in this video is that we need to connect our website to Facebook advertising. And to be able to build this connection between my website and Facebook advertising, I will be asked to install what's called a Facebook pixel. So inside my Facebook advertising, account i will be asked to install a new pixel and this is the code that i need to install so all i need to do is just i need to copy this code um, and add it to inside a, um, a, a something like this a text file to just to save it inside my computer and then i will go to my wordpress website and inside my wordpress website i have already activated my cadence pro add-on and here under the pro add-on you can you have two ways actually to add this code snippet of facebook you can do this by activating the header and footer scripts or the hooked elements both ways work very well but i prefer the hooked elements way because it helped me organize all of my code snippets for example i need to maybe i need to have a code snippet for facebook pixel and also for google analytics and also for Google Tag Manager. I need a way to organize all of these code snippets inside my WordPress website because in some cases, I may need to deactivate one of them. And using the hooked elements feature helped me do this in a very elegant way. So now I need to uh, activate the hooked elements feature. First, I will just click here to activate it. And then I will click refresh to be able to use uh, the hooked elements. And as you can see, I have a new sub tab here called elements to add this code. All I need to do is to click elements. And then I need to click add new to add a new element. And then I will be asked to choose which uh, element type. And to add these code snippets, we need to use the HTML editor element type. Then I will choose the HTML editor here. Let me just give this a name. So let's say Facebook pixel. Facebook pixel, pixel, and then all I need to do is to paste the pixel here. So I have just added my pixel here. Now I need to tell Cadence where exactly do I need to show this pixel. And for any service, it will tell you if you want to install this code snippet inside your header footer or even inside the body of your website. So if I want to, if I go back to my events manager, I will, I will see that I am asked to add this code snippet inside the header section of my website. To tell Cadence that I need to have this inside my header section, I need to go to my element settings and under placement, I can choose where I want to add this under the header or footer or inside the after uh, body open tag or tag open. So I'll just choose the header here. Then I will need to choose where do I want to display this code snippet. Usually you would install um you would install this code snippets across all of your website. So I will just use or choose entire website. But if you want to install this inside a certain page, maybe you want to track the sales of your e-commerce website. Sometimes you need to have this code snippet inserted inside a thank you page, for example. And you can do this by choosing only uh, single pages or single posts, and you can choose which page or post you want to install this uh, uh, code snippet, but because I know that I don't need to um, add the Facebook pixel code snippet across all of my website pages, so I will just choose entire website. Then I will need to choose for the user settings. You need to choose 
all users in this case. So make sure that you are choosing the placement option, the um, display settings, and also with the user uh, settings options or settings as well. Then I'll click publish. Now, this Facebook pixel should have been installed and added inside my WordPress website. But how would I know this? There is a Chrome extension if you're using Chrome called MetaPixel. And as you can see, it's, it's like, I think this is a gray color. Now, if I refresh this page, I will see this um, gray color into, or this will change into a blue color and will tell me that if the Facebook pixel has been installed or not. So I'll just click refresh here. And let's see what will happen. And here we go. This is the way that now the, the Facebook or the Metapixel helper is telling me now that I have a Facebook pixel with this ID added to my WordPress website. So now I have this connection between my Facebook advertising account and my WordPress website uh, also. So now I can uh, or I will be able to track the activities of my website users you can follow the same process if you want to add the code snippet of google analytics clarity.com which help you track the activities of, of your website visitors or even if you want to add the code snippet of google tag manager you will just follow the same step for that i have explained in this video so as you can see i don't need to have an additional plugin installed inside my wordpress website to be able to add these uh, snippets of codes to be able to connect my WordPress website to these additional services. And that's why I love Cadence Theme Pro Addon. If you like to uh, buy the Cadence Theme Pro Addon, I believe down below my affiliate link, I would appreciate it if you use my affiliate link, if you uh, consider buying Cadence Theme Pro Addon. Now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now.